Celestia has already taken the cosmos by storm, partly because of the massive airdrop that some of us got, some of us didn't. Or maybe it could just be the completely different value proposition it brings to the entire crypto space. Um, Celestia also brings some new players into the ecosystem in the form of unfamiliar validators that we haven't seen on other active sets in this ecosystem. But either way, the TIA token, it's already sitting at well over a billion dollar market cap. And there are ways to get a return on your holdings, including rumors of future airdrops. I'll cover that and more in this video. Welcome everyone, Cosmos Joe here. Appreciate you clicking on this video. Uh, even if you didn't get the TIA airdrop, I would appreciate it if you'd like the video. If you did get the TIA airdrop, like the video even harder. If you got the TIA airdrop, but you weren't allowed to claim it because you're a lousy American like me, uh, like the video anyway, subscribe to the channel, share it if it helps you, and would appreciate anybody any new subs. Most of you are new if you're clicking on this. Lots of educational content here, interviews, and of course, live streams covering crypto news. Would love to have you. Just click the buttons down below and we'll get started. Chances are you came here to learn about Celestia. Let's start out by saying that Celestia is a different kind of network with a slightly different kind of architecture than what we've seen with other layer one blockchains. Here's the website. I'm at celestia.org. This link, along with all the others covered in this video, will be in the description for your convenience. And you can see here, it's billed as the first modular blockchain network, right? It says Celestia is a modular data availability network that securely scales with the number of users, making it easy for anyone to launch their own blockchain. Clearly, clearly, clearly trying to attract some serious builders onto the platform. Here's a graphic that helped me kind of understand what they're trying to do. As opposed to typical layer ones, let's say like Ethereum, this execution layer is separate from this consensus data availability layer. And I guess this is supposed to appeal to builders who want more customizing. They want more flexibility. They want more creativity. And they, don't, like I said before, they don't want to be limited by the underlying platform and so as the first modular blockchain network you could see that you know one layer is not trying to do to do everything right roll ups roll ups can launch on the network scaling is not an issue these roll ups can kind of outsource some of the work to this consensus data availability layer and now what they explain on the website in and in the docs is that the apps are going to benefit from Celestia's security, not sure if this is going to compete with Cosmos ICS, more on that later, but the apps get their space, but also get to, get to rely on Celestia for some of the work, some of the security. And what that involves is publishing of transactions, right? They could be verified easier than in traditional, you know, with traditional rollups like on, uh, like on ETH. And of course, another major benefit of building this way is that it's not necessary to hard fork with, with updates. This video is mostly about the TIA token, which is trading you know, between 10 and $12 as of late. I'll show you how to custody the tokens, stake, transfer to other chains that offer DeFi strategies that are beating the, the current passive staking yields. But before we get into yields, APRs, gains, and all that, disclaimer, this is not financial advice. There are many risks involved. This is demonstration only. It's a new blockchain, new network, new token. Uh, do your own research. Just use this as part of your research. As far as my personal holdings, I did not claim the airdrop. I bought the tokens on Kraken, and that's where we, where we will start the adventure with our TIA tokens. For this particular video, I'm using Kepler Wallet, and 
I, like I said, I bought them on Kraken. There's a withdraw function. I just want to show people how to get to their Celestia address using Kepler. I also use Leap, sometimes Cosmo Station. For this demonstration, I just wanted to use Kepler because I could uh, go go full screen with a familiar with a familiar wallet that I've been using. And you could see here, um, once I click Manage Portfolio in Kepler, and I click Search Chains. I'll type, um, I just type Tia, Celestia comes up. I click it and you can see I have none. I didn't do the withdrawal to this address. This is just a demo wallet. But if I click deposit, QR code comes up, right? I could send right from my phone, centralized exchange, or from, you know, from another Celestia wallet. And I'll just copy this. With Kraken, you do have to, register the address they send you an email confirmation is this the address you want to off ramp your crypto to you click yes it, the, the the transaction from kraken took about two minutes so there you go you could also ibc this over from osmosis by clicking if you bought on osmosis by clicking withdraw under the assets page or with leap wallet you could do a really simple IBC transaction from any of the Cosmos chains. And I do have a video coming up where I'll do a complete Leap Wallet tour as well. Right now, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I have the wallet on my computer, and that's what I'm using. And by the way, if you're using Kepler Wallet, this is the same page where you would stake right here. APR, 16.98% stake. You click that. It's telling me I have no available tokens, but once they get deposited in the wallet, you'll be able to choose a validator. You could sort by voting power and just pick a validator. And like I said in the opener, it's probably worth it to skim through the validator set, see some unfamiliar names, some surprises. And like I said, they are bringing some new eyes on the ecosystem, which I think is good for everyone that's already here. The DeFi strategies I'm going to show you involve LPing on AMMs. And this is Osmosis, pool number 1247. You've got TIA, you've got USDC, pooling tokens. There's a whole other set of risks compared to staking. Understand there's impermanent loss. You have to be very comfortable holding the other token in the pair. There's smart contract risk. And um, here on Osmosis, this is one of the two supercharged pools that's offering an APR currently at over 300%, you have to make sure that you're supplying liquidity in the range where the tokens are trading. So you have to manage your position or you have to use one of the other third-party um, managers that are here. Read about supercharged pools before you dive in. I have not yet played around with supercharged pools on Osmosis, but there are ways for you to get high yields and the other one is here 1248 tia and osmo so different token in the pair but still over 300 percent apr as of right now making this video that will fluctuate over time do research just showing you this is option number one option number two i'm on helixapp.com this is on injective protocol I, I don't usually go onto an injective protocol, but somebody tipped me off. They said, hey, you could get some yields for your Celestia tokens here on injective. Injective is absolutely ripping in 2023. One of the top performers for the year in all of crypto. And it's easy to see why. They have some really nice apps here. Advertisement here, see rewards. I had clicked liquidity. And here you go. You could add here, this outlines the rewards. I can't see the actual percent, but they'll detail it. You could do some research here. Um, just wanted to show you that you have options outside of the usual suspects, let's say, in the Cosmos ecosystem. There's some rules here. And yeah, Helix, worth checking out. Option number three is Shade. This is app.shade protocol. Link is down below. You could see I've got a shade tia pair here 
There's not much liquidity in the pool, relatively speaking. APR, though, is substantially higher than staking either token. Again, there are risks, and the risks vary per platform. You have to take a look at what you're willing to do to get these APRs. Some people are okay with passively staking. Some people, they like to strike when the iron is hot. Maybe that's you, but just wanted to show you these three options so you can put your TIA tokens to work. That's it. That's the video. What are you going to do with your TIA tokens? I staked mine so far. I'm probably going to make another purchase. I don't like that the price got away from me. I bought it eight. I said, oh, I'll make another purchase in a week. I'll average it out. Should have bought when it was nine, I guess. But yeah, isn't that the uh, the sob story of the bull market when the prices are racing? But good luck. Hopefully you got the airdrop and got to claim it. If not, Maybe you got in on a good price and you're happy with your position. Let me know down below what you did. And of course, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that.